Hi guys, Football Manager YouthDevelopment.co.uk here. Welcome to the first episode of my Tottenham playthrough on Football Manager 2016. So we are at the first game of the season. I've just played the game. Um, this is actually the first game I've kind of watched live on Football Manager 2016. So I just kind of wanted to take in all the you know all the new graphics and you know the new animations and things like this. Um, what I'm going to do in this first episode, guys, with it being the first episode of this series, um, I will obviously show you this game just for starters, just to show you the goals that we scored. And also I'll just show you my transfers that I've made um, yeah, during like the course of the summer. Um, so obviously this is the first game of the Premier League, um, Yeah, right at the beginning of the season. And yeah, hopefully I'll be doing quite well with this Tottenham team, obviously... You know, Tottenham are a big club. Um, when I actually started the season with Tottenham, I think they had about £85 million in the bank. So, yeah, hell of a lot of money. Um, usually, I would not manage kind of like big clubs um, like this. Usually, I do kind of go for sort of more like non-league clubs. Um, but, yeah, I've been doing that for about four or five football managers now, just kind of like, yeah, managing sort of lower league um, teams and just kind of like building them up um, into being bigger teams. Um, but yeah, so I just thought this year that I kind of dive straight into managing just a slightly bigger club. So yeah, first game of the season, you can see that we have managed to win that one 3-1. And um, this was obviously at home against Norwich. And um, what I'll do in the background, guys, I'll just kind of play um, the main highlights. So in the background at the moment, it's just going to be all the key highlights. Um, as we're going through this, I'm just going to sort of, first of all, I'd just like to say that the, you know, graphics are looking really, really good, actually, you know, like all the players um, and things like that. So within the first five minutes, we did actually have a penalty sort of given for us. Um, my new striker, who I will show you at the end of this game, stepped up um, and yeah, unfortunately, the um, penalty was a little bit soft. Um, Ericsson then had a corner. Um, yeah, ball got, kind of got played around, um, and unfortunately we just couldn't score. Um, just before half time, Danny Rose managed to convert uh, Christian Eriksen cross to make it one nil to us. Um, going just into the second half, we didn't particularly have kind of too many chances. Um, yeah, my new striker he didn't really look to um, be playing too well after missing that early penalty. I think it kind of messed up with his confidence a little bit so um yeah just while the sort of this is all playing around in the background guys i'd like to hear what teams what teams you guys are managing um on the new football manager um so yeah like i said this is obviously the first um yeah sort of save that i've actually started on football manager 2016 lucky enough we did actually get a penalty so my new striker did actually get a little bit of a chance to kind of redeem himself so yeah he stepped up and this time he didn't actually make any mistakes at all and put it right into the top corner so yeah um i think his um penalty attributes are actually pretty decent so yeah certainly pretty you know really happy to have him at the club um so i have actually made some pretty big transfers to be honest um with this tottenham team i'm gonna show you the players and um, that i have transferred out we made it 3-0 uh, um, in the 86th minute. As you can see at the top uh, left-hand corner of your screen, so Norwich did actually pull a goal back right at the death. So, yeah, Graham Dorans um, was basically just running on, and unfortunately Danny Rose gave away quite a soft penalty. Um, he was already on a yellow card, so pretty lucky not to get sent off there. Um, I think it might have been Dorans himself. Yeah, it was Dorans who did actually convert the penalty. Um, obviously, that was right at the death of the game, so not particularly, you know, nothing else really happened after that. Um, yeah, we so with this kind of Tottenham team and the sort of tactics that I'm trying to play at the moment, I do want this team to be quite attacking, um, and I obviously want them to keep the ball, but, you know, I like to build my teams basically on having pretty decent defensive and things defenses sorry um so just have a look at the player ratings really quickly you can see that there was a couple of performances that were not too good so Carl Walker on 6.2 um, unfortunately my striker um new striker got 6.3 even though he did convert that penalty in the end um so yeah that unfortunately does show that you know if you're missing clear cut chances um on especially on this football manager um you know average ratings and things are really going to take take a complete hit really really happy to see Christian Eriksen get a couple of assists um yeah Danny Rose as well um so all pretty decent overall 
Um, what I'll do, guys, I'll just um, get onto the transfers now just to show you what I've been doing in that area. Okay, then. So having a look at the transfers, you can quite clearly see here that we, well, we've made 48 million um, and we spent 33 million pounds so far. So Harry Kane was probably going to obviously be the shock um, sort of sale that I have made. Um, with Harry Kane, it's not actually 26 million. I think it's pretty close to about 40 million pounds. Um, that Manchester United offered me and um, there's loads and loads of clauses for Harry Kane so do, 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 uh, here we go so yeah four clauses so um, yeah we get 20% profit of the next transfer and um, we're still going to be owed another well we're going to be owed 5.25 million after 10 international appearances which I'm pretty damn sure that Harry Kane is definitely going to get that um, and also we're going to be owed 5.25 million after 50 league appearances and um, we're also owed half a million pounds per month over in, well pretty much the next year so yeah overall it was like near enough 40 million pounds that we got for Harry Kane to be honest I, I didn't particularly want to sell him um, if we have a look how good he is on Football Manager 2016 so yeah for a sort of obviously young um, English striker you know he, he is very very good player but yeah, um, I was just kind of thinking with the money, like really Tottenham didn't need the money per se, but yeah, I just wanted to um, cash in. I just did think that the deal was a little bit too good to turn down. Um, but yeah, I'll, I will show you obviously the striker that I have bought in to replace him. Um, but yeah, a few players have gone out on loan. Um, so Fazio is a defender. Um, he basically just wanted to leave. And to be honest, he wasn't actually the, you know, kind of, defender that's going to get in the team a lot so uh, I can't remember the total value of that transfer I'll just have a look to see if there's any clauses um, doo -doo -doo. so yeah we are still owed pretty much a quarter of a million pounds um, per game for the next um, 10 league appearances and we're going to be owed 4.7 million after 50 league appearances and they're going to be still giving us half a million for the next 11 months as well so for both transfer deals you know it's it's a lot of money um overall so yeah i'm pretty happy um obviously there it says 48 million pounds but there's just so many clauses and things like that in the background so moving on to the players i have actually signed so the striker that i replaced uh harry came with is this guy so basically i'm going to be using him as a target man you can see here he's six foot two um yeah just built like a brick outhouse basically yeah he's got strength of 18 work rate 17 and uh, finishing 16 composure 14 bravery and um, yeah really good anticipation off the ball things like this and um, he's 23 at the moment and i think he potentially has got a little bit more improvement to do so yeah he's got a little bit more to go in terms of his um, you know where he can actually get to what i would like to improve on this guy is his technique and um, that's a uh, you know sort of attribute that I'm going to be working pretty hard to just improve and um, if I managed to get that up to about 13 I'd be pretty happy and um, but yeah I do think that he's kind of pretty well suited to the Premier League so yeah really happy to have this guy in and I got him for 5.5 million pounds and at the moment he is worth 8.5 so yeah I think that was quite a good deal myself and um, got Gaston uh, Jill Romero as well um, so this guy is just a young 22-year-old Argentinian. He He's a defensive midfielder. When I was having a look at this um, Tottenham team, I noticed that they didn't really have many uh, ball-winning midfielders. So what I decided to do was try and, yeah, just find a player that's got, you know, good tackling, good work rate, um, high bravery, aggression, um, things like this. And this guy, at 22 years old, he certainly fit in the bill. You know, his, his physical attributes are pretty decent as well. He's got good strength, stamina um etc so yeah really happy to have this guy in the team as well i'm gonna kind of like ease him in pretty gently if you like because um yeah he does need to learn the language and um yeah he, he's not quite got the experience yet but what i'm hoping is if i kind of like ease him into games then um yeah he should do pretty well for me one of the more sort of exciting signings that i did make um is yes sven um, bender got him from um dortmund he was there for absolutely well, quite a number of seasons anyway. Um, but yeah, have a look at this guy's attributes. You can see there here that he's got really, really good marking. Um, tackling 18. Work rate 20, which was definitely what sold it sold him for me. Stamina 20. 
Um, you just have a look at their mental attributes, guys. Um, yeah, he's 26 years old. Um, he's currently worth 22 million pounds, but you'll see that I got him for 11 million pounds here. So for some reason, Dortmund wanted to sell him, um, and obviously I wasn't going to say no. Um, you know, I think he might be in the German national team at the moment. And yeah, certainly looking at his mental attributes um, and his work rate and everything like that, he's absolutely perfect ball winner midfielder. So yeah, really, really, really happy to have this guy in the team. Um, obviously, I sold Fazio for, well, however much that was, probably near enough £30 million, and I got this guy in um, as a replacement. So this guy is 25 years old. He's a Cameroonian international. Um, yeah, pretty decent. Um, so basically, when I was signing in here, signing him i did compare him to fazio and um, just to kind of see how good he is um, this guy's value is now shot up to 22 million pounds and um, so yeah pretty happy with the kind of signing of him i think obviously with tottenham they are currently in the europa league on football manager 2016 so yeah um i do need a big squad and i think this type of player should do pretty well for me he's really really kind of you know 25 years old and he's got 63 caps um already for cameroon so very experienced player um yeah got him from marseille and yeah he's got loads and loads of experience this guy so very very happy to have him um in terms of the tottenham squad um sort of all together i'm pretty happy with the team so yeah um these two are going to be my sort of center backs pretty much for the whole season um i'm going to be keeping an eye on carl walker and um, so yeah, he's sort of rated as three star. I know the star ratings aren't absolutely everything on Football Manager um, by a long shot. But yeah, there's some other players that, you know, I'm going to be certainly keeping an eye on. So Eric Dyer, um, he's actually meant to be my best right back um, at the club. Unfortunately, he got a tor torn hamstring, so he's out for like two to three months. Hopefully he can come back and fight him fit and yeah, start fighting Carl Walker for a place in the um, team obviously got Danny Rose um, yeah we've got Ericsson Dembele Lamella um, Chadley so got a fantastic team here at Tottenham um, so obviously with this team I'm just going to be aiming to you know get as high as I can in the league I I certainly would like to think that within a couple of seasons I'll be challenging for um, Champions League football that's obviously got to be my aim um, and obviously once we do get into the Champions League and we're doing pretty well in that. My aim then is going to be to try and bring some um, sort of England, well, young English players into the team. That's that's going to be my aim basically for the like the long term. Um, so at the moment, obviously, I you know most of the players I did sign are foreign players. But yeah, um, my aim is basically to bring for a lot of English players. So they have obviously got some really really good young English players. Tottenham like. Um, Ali, um, Dyer, you know, Ben Davis is pretty decent, um, yeah, etc. They have got some pretty um, sort of good young English players. Danny Rose as well. Um, so, yeah, pretty happy with the team overall. I'm going to call this the end of the first episode, guys. Um, obviously, what I'll probably do is just kind of finish off the transfer window, get a couple of games under my belt. Um, the next episode on this um, series, I will actually live stream the next game. So, yeah, I'm going to call this at the end of the episode. But if you do have any comments or any thoughts on this particular game save file that I'm uh, creating here, then obviously do leave your comments. And, of course, do press the like button. It really, really does help the channel. And, yeah, we'll be back very, very soon for some more um, Football Manager 2016 gameplay.